Today I'd like to introduce an excellent video capture card to you, Magewell All-in-One Card. Its model is XI100XE Pro. By comparison with a mobile phone, we can see that this card features a small size. It uses an FPGA, which is a very powerful element. This card captures one HD or SD input. The capture card has input sockets including SDI, HDMI, DVI, VGA, Component, CVBS, and S-Video. Before using this card to capture video, you need to mount it in the PCIe slot on the motherboard of a computer. Let me show you how to do it. First, I need to locate the PCIe slot and then simply plug it in. As long as you have enough slots, you can use several pieces of Magewell cards on the same computer. When three Magewell cards have been installed on the same motherboard, they appear as entries in the device manager. If two are of the same model, they will be automatically numbered. This makes them easy to be identified. Currently, we haven't seen any similar cards with this function. When the card has been mounted, I'd like to demonstrate various functions of Magewell Capture Card. One of its most important functions is automatically detecting different HD inputs and displaying the type of the input in the software. However, for SD inputs, users still need to manually select the type. Now let's try this function with the all-in-one card. Okay, let's run Adobe Media Encoder. Click Setting and then the Advanced Settings tab. Here we can see the default setting of the all-in-one card is Auto Select Input Interface. Then I shut down the computer and connect the digital media player to the card through SDI. When I run the Adobe software, you can see in the Advanced Settings tab that the captured input is SDI. Next, if I connect the digital media player to the card through HDMI, the card will automatically capture HDMI input. If I connect it through the analog component, the card will automatically capture analog component. However, this function is not available for SD inputs. If all the interfaces on the card are connected with a digital media player, the card will capture input in the order shown on the screen. SDI, HDMI, and component. Let's do a test and see how it works. I unplug the SDI connecting cable and then the captured input shown in setting is HDMI. I unplug HDMI cable, the captured input is component. Apart from automatically detecting the HD inputs, Magewell All-in-One Card can automatically detect the resolution and frame rate of the input source. Let's demonstrate this function with a video camera. Its resolution and frame rate are set at 1080p 60Hz. After the camera is connected to the card, I run the Adobe software and click the Advanced Setting tab. We can see in the software that the card automatically detects and captures the input at 1080p 60Hz. However, most similar cards on the market cannot automatically detect resolution and frame rate of the input. They can only work after the user manually sets the resolution and frame rate. In addition, most cards on the market cannot capture at 1080p 60Hz, but only at 1080p 30Hz. If you want to capture an output to the computer video of different resolutions and frame rate from the input, you can set a different output configuration as required thanks to Magewell's powerful and flexible scaling function. Let me demonstrate the up and down scaling function of Magewell card, which is also called up and down converting. Because the aspect ratio of this image may be different from the aspect ratio on the screen, there are three options to do scaling. First, if I select fill out the image, the aspect ratio of the screen will generally be changed and the image will fill the screen. If a black border still appears, it is because the video source has embedded black border. You can use the cropping function to remove it. Now I adjust the height of the image first, and then I adjust the upper limit. I repeat these steps several times and finally get rid of the black border. Next, if I select Keep Aspect Ratio, Fill Border to Black, the original aspect ratio can be kept. The video is downscaled and the black border is added to fill the edge. Lastly, if I select Keep Aspect Ratio and Clip Border, the image will be enlarged and the edges will be cropped to keep the original aspect ratio. If you want to avoid stretching or squashing the video, basically you can choose the later two ways to do the scaling. 
When I scale the video up and down using Majewell card, the CPU usage is very small because most work is done by FPGA on the card. This design can significantly reduce CPU usage. The advantage of using FPGA is not only reflected on scaling. With this design, Majewell capture cards provide a very convenient service, which is firmware update. This is the technical support page of Majewell official website. I click hybrid cards, then XI100 XE Pro. Here is the link for downloading the firmware. Click download and save the firmware package in the computer. In setting properties in Adobe software, click firmware update. Choose the firmware downloaded just now and click yes, then wait until the process is automatically finished. This function is not available on capture cards without FPGA. When those cards have some problems, the only solution is to return the hardware to the manufacturer for repair. Next, I'd like to show you the deinterlacing function of Majewell All-in-One card, which converts interlaced video into progressive video. This is an important complementary function when video capture software cannot do deinterlacing. As a default, the driver will select vertical blend for you. The video on the top is not deinterlaced while the one at the bottom is processed with vertical blend function. We can see that when vertical blend is used, the image is much clearer. How does it work if motion adaptive option is selected? The image on the top is processed with vertical blend function while the one at the bottom is processed with motion adapted option. We can see that when vertical blend is used, the image is much sharper and tailing is greatly reduced in video in fast movement. However, I need to remind you that this option results in more CPU usage. In terms of image control, Majewell All-in-One card has a vertical flip and horizontal mirror functions. Why do we need these two functions? When you have to shoot with the camera upside down, the image you record is vertically and horizontally reversed. You can use the vertical flip and mirror function to correct it. So far, besides the functions I mentioned, you might ask whether there is any other image control functions. The answer is definitely yes. When I use Adobe Flash Live Encode, I can adjust the brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation independently. The real-time change can be clearly seen when I adjust them. Majewell All-in-One card is compatible with all kinds of software based on Direct Show. Therefore, it can create a unique function requested by many clients, which is using the same input source in different software. My test has proven that after related information in the registry is modified, All-in-One card can support three modes. The first one was in the output settings in the software are the same. The same input can be used in different software. The next one is when the output settings in the software are different. The same input can be used in different software. The last one is whether the output settings are the same or not. The input can be used in one software. To conclude, Majewell All-in-One card is a HD and SD capture card with outstanding performance, which is also easy to use. It can run stably on Windows 8, 8.1, and Linux. It is compatible with various software based on Direct Show. Currently, Majewell has resellers around the world, such as in the US, Britain, Germany, Italy, Spain, and Korea. You can purchase this card easily. All-in-One card is just one of a whole range of excellent Majewell video capture cards. In addition to this card, Majewell offers capture devices including HDMI, SDI, hybrid, Ultra HD cards, and USB dongles and boxes. With remarkable functions and performance, these products have the same high quality as all-in-one card. If you wish to get more information about Majewell products, you can visit their official website or send an email to them. many choices in the market today other than Majwell. Uh, there's very expensive capture devices and very inexpensive ones. The expensive ones work pretty well, the inexpensive ones don't. Majwell represents the best value proposition in both price and performance as well as flexibility of the interface is offered. So Majwell's a great choice. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm with MVD. 
We are ManageWell's North American distribution partner. We have chosen to distribute ManageWell video capture products in North America because of their high quality, their performance, reliability, and scalability. Their technical support is superior to other capture products available on the market today. They are number one in China, and we believe they will be number one in North America too. Matchwell video capture products are used for live streaming, for video conferencing, for digital wall display, for medical imaging, for lecture capture, and many other applications. We are proud to be Madgewell's North American distribution partner, and we look forward to showing you these fabulous products. Hi, my name is Mark Alamares. I'm with Mobion. We're one of the premier streaming companies in the U.S. And what I like is the new Magewell products. They're fantastic because of the fact that they deliver 1080p60, they're driverless, and they also deliver high quality video over USB 3.0. You could use these for various types of events, such as lecture capture, corporate presentation, sports, and also religious events, as well as video games. They're quite versatile, and also the one, most important thing is for the price, you get a lot of power. So I recommend using Majorwell products because they offer the best solution at the most price effective cost.